Well, the court's uh, ruling really clarified one point and one point only. That is separation of powers. Uh, we, <coughs> when, when that uh, determination and judgment was delivered, we were already engaging stakeholders uh, as the interministerial committee. And, and the first uh, round of such consultations was really aimed at listening to their concerns as they raise their concerns. Uh, <coughs> we are now going back to them uh, to respond uh, to the concerns that they uh, all raised. Uh, the good thing about this process is that uh, uh, almost all of them uh, accept the principle of user pay. Are you able to share with us who you've met so far and who you're still going to meet and perhaps when? Well, uh, <coughs> I can tell you that uh, we've met Outer, we've met uh, uh, Fedusa, we've met uh, RFA, we've met Musa, we've met uh, uh, BBC. We're still going to meet with the South African Council of Churches. We're still going to meet with COSATU in the uh, coming week. We hope to complete uh, consultations by uh, midweek next uh, in the coming week. We had already made progress with COSATU. I mean, we uh, all agreed that there is a debt uh, that needs to be serviced and settled. Uh, that's the uh, point of departure. And, and, and also that, uh, you know, public transport uh, is exempt, uh, which uh, caters for ordinary working people. Uh, and that, you know, in the main routes from Soweto, from uh, uh, Eguruleni, right into the CBD, uh, right into something, there are no gantries. Uh, from Lanashia, there are no gantries. So <coughs> it's not uh, that, you know, ordinary uh, uh, residents of these areas would, would have to... Uh, be burdened with additional costs and so on. And of course, uh, one of the, the uh, considerations is also to cap, you know, to ensure that the, regardless of how many times you go through the gantries, there's a certain amount beyond which you would not be charged. The idea is really not to add to the burden that uh, uh, all road users already uh, carry uh, up to a tipping point. You know, uh, we we don't want this to be the grain which breaks the camel's back, so to speak. But but is there a middle road, so to speak? There is a middle road where we believe where we we've been making steady progress, where really getting closer to a meeting point. Where, <coughs> however, I'm not in a position to say so you know, conclusively because we still have to uh, meet other stakeholders. And, and <coughs> however, we're posit uh, quite uh, optimistic and positive that uh, uh, a middle road uh, will be found. So if I, if, I, if I get you correctly, there is a way in which Sunral will be able to meet its obligations, yeah. meaning it will have to get the money from somewhere. Treasury is introducing... Uh, a, a bill in, through Parliament uh, which would enable uh, Treasury uh, to do appropriations, uh, especially for you know ensuring that Sunral remains uh, a, a, you know with a, a positive outlook. R robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. Uh, that's that's the unfortunately that's the uh, duty of Treasury. Uh, you know, you know that uh, their their role is to uh, ensure that uh, revenue is allocated. Are you able to say, Deputy President, uh, whether uh, the fees, as were um, as they were introduced, will stay, or are you able to say that perhaps yes, uh, the ministerial committee has? looked at the whole situation and perhaps said maybe we are going to charge less or are you able to give any indication? There are concessions. Uh, there will be uh, concessions to, to meet the concerns raised by the various stakeholders.